I'm for your fun hero. Uh, we'll see if that will be the case for Sadistic Gods against uh, Family X uh, Gaming. So, yeah, I think that it's the team, it's the Sadistic Gods on the red side, uh, playing the Bruno. Okay. So, yeah, uh, honestly, yeah, you, you know, you want to know why I mentioned? Why oh, I was able to... The beans. You don't really see this happening. Mm -hmm. For normal circumstances, usually for tournaments, it's Philippines versus Philippines, Malaysia versus Malaysia, Indo versus Indo. But right now, these teams have the capability to gauge each other in such a tournament. So at least we are having some, you know, it's we are having a bit of exposure for the smaller teams. Yeah. So this is a non-professional circuit. Um... Yeah. So and usually that... you see this kinds of setup. Okay, yeah. so th th that is not good. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It doesn't matter that much. Okay, so it's a little bit of lead for the sadistic guts down one one minute and twenty one seconds in, which means which kind of tells us that their final strategy is uh, doing better. As you can see from Family X Gaming, they don't have uh, the four mask strategy or even a three mask strategy. Just having masks on the supports and what. In effect, when you don't adjust your opponents doing masks, you will be left behind when it comes to economy. And I think it's showing right now. Not only when it comes to gold, but also when it comes to experience. I think that bonus gold and XP that you can get from the mask is just way too good. That maybe this is the way that the uh, mask should truly be played. Nevertheless, there's the first blood with Cecilion dealing the damage. And there's the joint with the jump ejector getting the second kill for the sadistic gods. And... But Guardian's Barrier, a little bit too late in there. Oh, but it does that tackle from Jack. My goodness, Bruno. Nice timing on the tackle. And with that, they get their third kill and a lot of gold in the bank for the Sadistic Gods, my friend. So, well, they, uh, what they call this, Family X Gaming went for a traditional 1 2 2 lineup, uh, 1 2 2 setup on their laning stage. Mm -hmm. it, it now makes sense why they went for a double tank, but they didn't really abuse the fact that there are masks, as you've said. Yeah. So we are seeing how much gold is a uh, sadistic gods getting from right. abusing this certain mechanic into the game. And now, that's also, they yeah. have to catch up. They have to catch up. It's almost 4,000 mm. gold on going to the side of um, what do you call this? Of what sadistic the sadistic, the sadistic gods. So, there is... I don't know, how do you come back from this? Yeah, so the problem is you also are lacking EXP. And I think that in, in the fight that happened up top, Hylos is just level 1. And there's the rest of sadistic gods there. They're already on level 3. Which meant that the Sicilian, the Joy, the Grok, they deal so much damage already. And there was a time where they were able to secure three more kills, which even inflated the lead that they have. So it's honestly very hard, very difficult to come back like this. Sylvana, just one stun is what they needed. Just one from the Sanguine Claws. And it's already so... It's about money, to be honest. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the problem of having more heroes at level 4, level 5, level 6 on the enemy team That's right. rather than getting enough gold for the uh, other team because if you think about it the the way that they're funneling this on Jads yeah. they're giving him all the money so you can deal with the other heroes but for Grok, let's say Grok is not now at level oh, 6 and Carry is at level 6 so that means the your tank and their carry is at the same stage yeah. As as early as four minutes into the game. Well, see what uh, the, the better you get from XP, but look at this. Look at the, this is the raw damage output they're receiving now. Gorus pathway in a weird spot, but this means up to the game. And yeah, the Hylos really failed in that. And I think that it's all, almost always, almost sure that that will happen. Mm -hmm. Inevitable, I would say. F five minutes in, we have a 10-0 score in favor of the Sadistic Gods. And no. Grok says, okay. Shoutouts to XB Osep. I don't know. Oh, for a peso. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Okay, so they they have uh they're asking for a lot of shout outs to be honest. Yeah, I, I don't know how you play and ask for shout outs at the same time. Yeah, well, if you're leading by 10 0 5 minutes, I think you can yeah, you wait can. For, uh, for maybe five seconds to actually type. Oh, look at this. Way of the Dragon into the Cyclone Eye, but it doesn't matter. Sylvana will still fall as the reinforcements from Sadistic Gods are way ready for that. I like the timing actually coming out from uh, the Cho, making sure that the Shunpo was available before he was stunned up. And what an interesting wild charge. But there's no stun actually for Family X Gaming available in that uh, fight to punish this Grok. So Grok will be keeping himself alive. Now, Blade of Despair going here for going here on that show. It is really, really bad here. This is a critical point in time for the side of Family X Gaming. They really have to stop this and show going in. And that is very, a uh, very ballsy move. Well, you, yeah. don't, so you don't really do that, but he went in, he used the flicker, and he just went straight for the kill. And it's not like it's necessary. They were controlling the, the turret anyway, so that's a, definitely a mistake from Sadistic Gods. Unfortunately for Family X Gaming, there's not a lot of punishes. Look at that burst! Sanguine Claws into the burst. You know that it's coming. And without Purify available on the carry, you know that he will die. This may, means that they'll be able to push once again, taking up more. And that's turret. And... Uh, yeah, they're asking for another pause at this point, but it kind of feels like there's not really any more ways for Family X Gaming to come back from this. Even when there's a pause, I'm sure most it's almost a victory for their side. And what you need, so what they needed to do was to kind of put some bodies out, so yeah. just to survive. Maybe just to give one more uh, hero death so that they can survive, and that's what exactly what they did. That's why they're still hanging on, but I'm saying Sadistic Gods taking down the turret in the bottom lane. No good news at all for Family X Gaming. No good news at all, and look at that! Decision. Even Decision can take down someone that easy. Yep, so it's and over. this is it, this is, this is it. I'm pretty sure this is it. A lot of shoutouts being thrown, but uh, still GG's to Family X Gaming. Stellar start for Sadistic Gods. Staying true to the power of the funnel strategy, and they really did well. That meant that they will take this game and advance to the upper bracket. Can you, would you agree?